Some of the best sounds come from this secret VST that she uses a lot. This is probably her most used plugin. Okay, so this is how she made the melody for Uptown. And then I add this extremely underrated plugin. All right, what's good YouTube? In this tutorial, I'm gonna be going over how producer Wonder Girl makes all her signature ambient psychedelic type beats for people like Travis Scott and Don Tolliver. In this video, I'm gonna go over her go-to presets, drum kits, effects, how she manipulates samples in FL Studio. And at the very end, I'm gonna combine all these things and make a beat that sounds like it was made by her. By the way, if you want any of the drum sounds that I use in this tutorial, there's a link in the description where you can download them completely free. All right, so the thing about Wonder Girl beats is that most of the time she uses a lot of layers, effects, and samples specifically. And that's why her beats have such a unique sound to them. She uses Fruity Slicer, which is the stock FL Studio sample slicing tool. So I'm gonna walk you through how to use it. I took the samples from two of my favorite beats that she made, No Favors by Big Sean and Uptown by Travis Scott. And I sliced them in the exact same way she did to show you how it works. So first off, No Favors. This is what the original sample sounds like. Normally when you're using samples, you wanna find the tempo. So to find the tempo, all you have to do is come here and right click the sample, right click here and I'll say detect tempo. And I always choose 100 to 200. So for this sample instance, it's a 108. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna click this and you wanna scroll it up and align it with the tempo that you're using in FL Studio. So as you can see on the right, it says 16 beats and those are always the numbers that you want when you're slicing samples. So numbers like 16, 32, 64, eight or four, all those numbers work. So then what she does is she automatically slices it on beat and the way you do that is you click this and you select beat right here. And as you can see, all the slices in the sample now are completely even. So that sounds like this. So as you can hear, there's a lot of clicking going on and we're gonna go ahead and fix that in Free Slicer. So what you need to know are these four knobs right here. This first one is the pitch, which is super basic. So then this next knob right here is called stretch slices. You have the attack, which is gonna cause a fade in for the sample and that's gonna remove some of the clicking that you hear. And then you have fade out, which serves as a release knob for each sample slice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the clicking. So first we're gonna turn up the attack. And just like that, that sounds good. So then what she does is she layers that main melody with three individual sample slices that she does with the exact same sample, except she pitches them up and down. So the first one she layers is the exact same melody, except as you can see down here, it's pitched down one semitone. So that sounds like this. And like we did with the first sample, we're just messing with the attack and the stretch until we get a sound that we like. So then she has a third layer that kind of sits in the distance and adds more texture to the beat. It sounds like this. Okay, so this is how she made the melody for Uptown. So what I did was I just looked up a video on YouTube called All the Samples Used in Days Before Rodeo. And I just recorded the little snippet where that sample plays and remade it with that. So the original sample sounds like this. <laughs> And the reason a sample like this and so many more samples like this work really well is because as you can hear in these little stabs that play at the beginning, those are all individual notes that are playing. So if we slice each of those notes or each of those stabs in this case individually, then we can re-manipulate them and free slicer and create our own melody. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch those notes all out. So I'm gonna turn it up to about there. So then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change the pitch and we're gonna bring it down all the way to eight semitones. And now it sounds like this. <laughs> Since we're slicing at each stab or each note, we can completely manipulate it and create a whole new melody out of it. So as for Uptown, it's not 100% accurate because again, I don't have the sample, but when we rearrange it, it sounds like this now. So that's how she made the melodies for those two beats. So let's talk about the traits, sounds, and effects that she uses that make up her beats. So as for traits, we're going for an ambient psychedelic feel with lots of effects and delays and reverb and filters. So when I think of ambience and psychedelic, the first thing that comes to mind is sounds like guitars, pads, pianos, choirs, and flutes, as well as synth basses. So the best VSTs for this would be Omnisphere and Nexus for all those types of sounds, Span 2 specifically for pads, and Electra X I would say specifically for bell sounds. As for synth basses, some of the best sounds come from this secret VST that she uses a lot. It's called Fab Filter Twin 2. And the reason it's overlooked is when people think of Fab Filter, most of the time they think of the effect plugins that come with it. So if you're like me and you legally bought all the Fab Filter plugins, you may skip over using this because you think it's an effect plugin that you're not familiar with. So when you open the VST, what you want to do is come up here and click on bass sounds. And then the category that we want to go to is vintage. She uses plenty of bass sounds in here and they all 
all sound really good. They all kind of sound like Moog sounds, the type of stuff you hear on Travis Scott and Don Tolliver beats. As an alternative, you can find really good bass sounds in Omnisphere. If you go into synth bass and you specifically go into analog classics, there's a lot of really good presets in here. One of my go-to presets that I'll give you is this preset here called Moog Taurus Super Subs. So for drum sounds, Wonder Girl is almost exclusively using the BWB kits for all her beats. Specifically, the types of sounds she uses are like punchy snares, fat and sharp kicks, as well as various hi-hats with lots of hi-hat rolls. And since her beats contain a lot of effects and reverb on the melodies, it's super important that you keep your drums loud and dry at all times. The reason we do this is because the sacrifice of having these spacious ambient reverb melodies, there's not a lot of bounce that comes from that because everything sounds really muddy and flooded. So we have to compensate that with dry and loud drums. So now let's talk about the most important thing that makes a Wonder Girl beat and that's effects. So she uses a crazy amount of effects. Specifically, she uses tight telephone EQs on almost all her sounds. She uses guitar amps, saturation, clippers, flangers, detune, and most of all reverb. So in short, a lot of effects. For EQs, she always uses this FabFilter Pro EQ. One thing that's important to note for these types of beats is when you're putting a lot of effects on them, it's super important that you put the EQ in the bottom of the effect chain, because what that does is it's gonna contain all the sounds and effects we put on beats, especially since we're using a lot of sounds because if we don't everything is going to sound spread out and muddy because things are going to continuously be overlapping so for guitar amps hardcore as well as guitar rig as you can see here are the most ideal to use and usually when she's using this type of stuff she's almost always going to put it on guitar sounds and this next plugin is probably the one she uses the most out of all the ones i'm going to show you and that's for saturation it's this plugin called decapitator and she puts it almost in all her 808s and this last plugin is called fab filter saturn she usually only puts it on drums and for flanging uh, you can just use the basic one that comes out of FL Studio, whatever one you have, stock whatever, there's not much to it. For Detune, aka the secret Q-Beat sauce revealed, you want to use like RC20 or Unstable usually, those are the two best ones. And as for reverbs, just use the default one because she uses it too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct the Wonder Girl beat that I made with all these things in mind. So first I started with basic keys that I laid down. As we talked about, these types of beats are all about layering ambient sounds on top of each other. So instead of separately making chords and leads and a counter melody like you would in most beats that you make. I just put it all in one MIDI and I layered it a bunch of times. They sound like this. So then I went to Omnisphere and I found this pad. I went to the ambient genre in Omnisphere. And a lot of people don't do this when they go through sounds. They just pick through the default browser that comes up when you open Omnisphere. But I strongly recommend that when you're looking for sounds, you open the patch browser and you select genres based off the type of vibe that you're going for with your beats. And it sounds like this. As for effects, all I did was add the telephone EQ and a small flangus that's automated at 10%. So then I went to Nexus and I took this lead preset out of the Fire Synth Bank. So first I added Gross Beat and then I add this Effector. Everyone has it if you have FL Studio and I add this Phaser. And then I also add the filter here. So this is what it sounds like without effects. And this is what it sounds like with the effects. Then I took another sound from Nexus from the exact same bank. And this time when I copied the melody over, I removed the lead that plays on top. So as you can see, it's pitched in the ninth octave. And the reason for that is I added three gross beats on the effects. I add unstable to give it detune, wobble, and a little bit more movement. Then I added another plugin that she uses a lot called Little Radiator. It adds a lot more warmth to it, a lot more body to the sound. And then like we've been talking about, I add an EQ at the end. Without effects, it sounds like this. And now with all the effects on, it sounds like this. So now with all those sounds layered together, it sounds like this. Those three sounds play at all points throughout the beat. So then what I did is I just copy and pasted the same melodies, removed the lead and counter melody on one of the presets, and added these two choir sounds that come out of Omnisphere, no effects, and those together sound like this.
So then I layered in one more sound. It's a guitar preset called Majestic Guitar Grains. So then this sound is connected to the same effects chain that we were talking about with the three gross beats. So without the effects, it sounds like this. But now with the effects, it sounds like this. So then what I did is even though we were talking about using FabFilter for basses, I used this go-to preset that I use a lot from Harmless called Blue Sunday. And I layered it on this 3X oscillator sound that I made. And those together sound like this. So then the next sound and my favorite sound in the entire beat is this pad from Expand called Recorder Pad Plus. And what I did was I put gross beat on the effects, I linked it, and I made a completely different melody while gross beat was still on. So if I were to play without gross beat, it would sound awful. So now with the gross beat, it sounds like this. So let's talk about the last two sounds I added. The first preset is this basic sign bell that I got at Nexus. I use this bell a lot. It's called AR Goodnight Bells. And as for effects, I added a basic reverb. The only important thing to note is I add this thing called a stereo enhancer. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna widen the melody so it doesn't interfere and overlap with the sounds that are already playing. So that sounds like this. And the last melodic sound is this guitar that comes in at the pre-chorus and it's called Smoked Trem O Lux. So then I add this effect preset called Echo Magic. It creates this ambient delay that sits on top of the melody and gives it that super psychedelic feel that we're looking for. So with no effects, it sounds like this. And with effects, it sounds like this. So together at the most busy point in the beat, all these sounds playing together sounds like this. So I think we can all agree that that sounds exactly like something she would make. So that's it for the melodies, super simple stuff. As for the drums though, I really did keep it simple. Like we're talking about nothing crazy, super dry and loud sounds. So first let's talk about Decapitator. So normally it's gonna look like this with the drive down, but what you wanna do is you wanna turn this up to your liking. And ideally you wanna go to this E style. So without Decapitator, the 808 sounds like this. But with Decapitator, it sounds like this. And last thing we're gonna talk about is Fab Filter Saturn. So I just put it on the snare just to give it a little more power. Without the effect, it sounds like this. And with the effect, it sounds like this. So I add a basic hi-hat and a basic open hat, and I add this slight half time on the open hats that kind of just sits in the background and adds a little more bounce. That sounds like this. And with all the drums together, it sounds like this. And that's it for the drums as well as this video. So overall, these aren't the typical 30 minute made beats that most producers make. They take a lot of time to make, but if you pull it off correctly, the result is almost always worth it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram at Finna the God. And once I get those numbers up, I'm gonna start giving away VSTs, drum kits, and sample packs on there. And stay tuned for the Metro Boomin, J. Cole, and ASAP Rocky tutorials. Those are coming next. And at the very end, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a massive sample pack with all the best samples that I found while making these three tutorials. And I'm gonna give it away on my Instagram, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But that's it for me, peace.